Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday and welcome to my kitchen sink. Can you see why we're here? So my wife pointed out that we're missing one of these little rubber feet here on this grate. I actually think it's been missing a while. In fact, the, uh, the sink is kind of scratched up there. I don't know if that's going to polish out or not, but uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's pull one of these guys off and see if we can figure out how to duplicate it. It looks like these are made out of like a rubber material. Ooh, you know what? Honestly, they all feel kind of hard. I might be making more than one of these. You know what I'm thinking? It's a good excuse to order a roll of white TPU. But for now, probably have to use some gray. I think that's the closest I have. Let me get one of these pulled off. We'll go down to the workbench and uh, see what it looks like. All right, this guy was not easy to get off of here. There, it looks like there's uh, two nubs at the top and then two nubs further down that are holding this uh, in place on here. And it was pretty tight. Um, I'm not actually sure that this, I initially thought this was sort of dried and cracked. It's actually a texture uh, that's on there. I think this one is okay. So they're probably all in decent shape. I'm not sure what happened to the one that is missing. But got to get some measurements for the next step here. Uh, at a minimum, I need the dimensions of this and I need the dimensions of how far uh, up on this piece of stainless uh, this guy is sitting up on there. So we can use one of the other ones that's still in position uh, to get those measurements. So let's get those and then we can start designing something to hopefully Replace this. And here's the design I came up with for this. And uh, I think it's pretty close to the original. Uh, as you can see, it's sort of uh, oval shaped here at the top uh, and round on the bottom. Uh, I didn't make the transition quite as gradual here from the flat bottom uh, to the sides just because I wanted it to print fairly clean. And if I went any more gradual, I just don't think it was going to be able to, uh, to do the overhang. Um, but the top's pretty close and that's the part that you see. So the profile looking down at this uh, is very close. Uh, to the same profile that you get looking at the uh, the stock foot. Um, if you were watching the design there sped up, you see at one point uh, I started I it started with kind of the whole thing and then I cut it down to just a quarter of it. So often when I'm doing something that has a lot of complex uh, relief or sort of curves in it like this that I want to make sure that it matches all the way around is uh, I'll shape just one quarter of it, just a, a sort of a one quarter pie slice, uh, get everything the way I want and then duplicate that flip it and then copy that whole thing, uh, duplicate that and then mirror that and put it all back together. And then I'm guaranteed to have a shape that is uh, the same and matches on both sides. Uh, workflow is certainly gonna be different depending on which program you use. Uh, I am more comfortable doing this type of design work in SketchUp versus Fusion 360, but that is probably just simply because I've got a lot more hours in SketchUp than I do Fusion 360. Um, those of you that are familiar with that app, um, you know, might be thinking of a different workflow they would use to uh, to essentially accomplish the uh, the same thing, whether it be uh, you know a command where you're you're mirroring or, or having it match essentially that one that one quarter. Uh, so probably the easiest way to show you what's going on inside here to to trap or, or to capture essentially that hoop of stainless steel wire uh, that makes up the uh, the metal part of the the foot coming down is here. If I turn on hidden geometry, we can just take the the bottom here and delete it. And you can see then sort of that, that loop that's coming down. And if I delete this as well, you can see the, the fingers coming out from the side here and how they are sloped in this direction um, to make it at least possible to, uh, uh, to get this guy pressed on, um, but make it a lot harder to, uh, to get off. So um, I, think this is, I think this is gonna work just as good from a, a function and fit perspective. The only thing I don't know for sure is 
how well the material is going to hold up in comparison to the uh, the solid rubber pieces that are on there. The I'm not sure what the original pieces are. They might even be TPU, but I, I believe they're injection molded from the look of it, um, and they appear to be you know a rubber material. Could be polyurethane material. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to print this at 0.1 millimeter layer height, so I think this is going to be pretty tight. I don't think there's going to be a lot of opportunity for water to uh, ingress from the outer face uh, and sort of fill the pores uh, because, again, it's I think it's going to be almost a solid object from the outside if I go slow and do it at 0.1. But I might revisit this after six months, after a year, and just see how the piece looks in comparison to the other rubber feet that are on there. So... All right, let's uh, let's slice this guy up. Let's uh, let's print it out, and uh, let's see if it works. Oh, I almost forgot. In last week's video, I offered to pick a winner for the uh, the 3D printed piece and the heat shrink tubing that I was going to give away. So last week's video, if you didn't see it, um, I designed and 3D printed a piece that really cleans up the install of a Land Pride third function kit on my tractor, um, and I wanted to give one away to uh, a lucky subscriber um, that also liked and commented on the video. So. Thank you guys for doing that. Uh, now let's go ahead and pick a winner. All right, here we go. We got the URL for the video plugged in. We're set to filter duplicate users. We got to solve the Kepska one plus one. I think I can manage that. Get comments. We've got five comments. So five people entered to win. And WD Glock and Roll. You are the winner. So uh, go to fpfdesigns.com and scroll down to the bottom and then hit contact. Uh, reach out to me. I will reach uh, back out to you uh, to confirm it is you and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's slice that up now. <laughs> It's looking pretty good. All right, since that was a success, I went ahead and picked up some of the uh, white TPU. Um, it's silly to spend like 30 bucks for this project, but obviously it's gonna get used on other ones and I'm gonna use like 1% or less of the, uh, the material on this. So let's do one in white. All right, here's our original design piece. And I don't know what material this is. It feels like a hard rubber uh, to me, but I couldn't tell you what material uh, it is. Um, and you saw I printed one in gray TPU because I had gray and black TPU, so I used gray. Uh, it looked good. I did test fit it. It fit good. So I went ahead and I ordered a roll of the, uh, the white TPU and printed it in white. It is still not a perfect match from a color perspective, but uh, it might have been originally. This, the disc discoloration might have just been the fact that it's been in the sink for, uh, I don't know, like five years. So... Uh, this guy is ultimately probably going to be the same color as, uh, as this one after a couple years uh, as, uh, as well. Um, I am really happy with how close it came to this one from an aesthetic perspective. And really, that's what I was going for here. From a design perspective, like a pure engineering design perspective, uh, the, the overall shape uh, and aesthetic isn't that important. This could have been just a square block um, you know, with a, uh, with a hole in it and something to retain uh, to kind of click in place on that. But I really tried to copy the design as close as, uh, as I could. And it is, uh, it's pretty darn close, uh, particularly when you're looking down on it from different angles, um, which is how you're going to see this, right? It's going to be in the sink, uh, on the bottom of this grate. So let's, uh, let's see how it snaps in place. So here's our original one. We'll put this back. Let's see. This one was down here. goes on and you can feel it lock in place and here is our TPU one I printed this one a little bit tighter on purpose because uh, this material feels a little bit uh, harder than the TPU the TPU actually seems a little bit more flexible than the original material so I wanted this guy to be nice and tight on there There we go. Like I said, it is actually a little bit harder to get on because the opening is tighter. But once, it on, once it's on there, uh, it snaps in place the same way. Um, it is also, it slides just a little bit, just like the original piece until you hit that locking piece. But, you know, gravity is keeping this guy in place. Um, 
whatever you have in the sink is pushing down on this. And yeah, from, I'll tell you what, uh, I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but to my eye, these basically look the same aside from this one, just being a little bit of a, of a brighter white. Um, let's go see what this looks like in the sink. Yeah, no more wobble. Looks good. Again, the uh, the bright white does stand out a little bit against the uh, the off white color of the other ones, but I'm sure my kids will fix that. Uh, I'm really pleased with how this came out, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me while we did this design. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to see more stuff like this, you enjoyed you know kind of watching the the concept and design and actual item getting put into place, hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. And if you've got a friend that's into 3D printing and is just kind of stuck in that phase of printing benchies and other you know crap that they download that doesn't have any real purpose, share the channel with them. Uh, 3D printing is such a deeper hobby when you kind of get past the initial uh, learning curve of picking up some design software and going and actually fixing stuff like this and making things better. So guys, thanks again for hanging out. And if you do hit that subscribe button, I will see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.